The final stop on the road to WrestleMania 34 will take place on Sunday at the SmackDown exclusive Fastlane pay-per-view from Columbus, Ohio. Now this one doubles as also the final single-branded show for WWE, ending a nearly two-year run which dates back to the 2016 brand extension draft. Now if the quality though of Sunday's card, at least on paper, tells you anything, it's that going away from this format is probably a good thing for WWE as we enter with a decided lack of buzz fresh off one of the least creative stretches for the blue brand in quite some time. Outside of what should be an electric tag team title match between the Usos and the New Day, there's really only one match that's must-see, the six-pack challenge main event for the WWE Championship. Now, one must enter this forgetting, of course, the customer fatigue from having seen a fatal five-way match between most of these performers just days before on SmackDown Live. But considering AJ Styles has been more or less announced as Royal Rumble winner Shinsuke Nakamura's opponent, for Mania, and considering Styles has faced really unjustifiable odds stacked against him, the smart money is on him retaining the belt on Sunday night. The real drama in this match should come for how the soap opera plays out for friends turn enemies, turn friends, turn back again of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, which if done right, could lay the groundwork for a juicy Mania feud. We will also find out exactly where John Cena's storyline is headed should he lose and find himself really without a road of his own to the showcase of the immortals will we hear the undertaker's bells on sunday or will cena actually be left without someone to fight on april 8th considering how well cena has done in trying to sell his inner doubt the outcome of this may prove to be the most redeeming return from a truly underwhelming fast lane card i'm brian campbell and for the latest wwe news and analysis keep it locked to cbs sports